So on the top row are simple primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Can you see what links them together with their names? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. If the nitrogen is attached to one carbon, it's a primary amine. If it's attached to two, it's a secondary amine and attached to three is a tertiary amine. How can we make this more tricky on you? Well, we could give you the condensed structures or the skeletal structures. So if you can't do it in your head, just draw it out and you'll notice that that is indeed a primary amine. But it looks like the nitrogen's attached to hydrogen. No, no, no. The hydrogens actually go above and below the carbon. Yeah, nitrogen attached to one carbon. For that skeletal structure, the nitrogen is indeed attached to two carbons. Hydrogens are not drawn in, uh, for clarity. What about that bottom one, a condensed structure? Well, let's just shift stuff around a bit. Yep, that's a secondary amine. One, two, and trimethylamine, trimethylamine. That's tertiary. Nitrogen attached to three carbons. So what's the rule? Primary amine, nitrogen attached to one carbon, secondary it's two, tertiary it's three. And just quickly recall, the functional group and the class is the same word, amines. And that's how you draw out the functional group. A nitrogen with three R's on it. An R, at least one of them has to be an alkyl group. Almost certainly the rest are going to be hydrogens. What do amines smell like? They smell like rotten fish. So identify the type of amine or amines present below. You know what? It's a dirty trick. In penicillin, the nitrogen is attached to a carbonyl group. And that means that C double bond O, that means that it's an amide, not an amine. So avoid that trick. Morphine, yet the nitrogen is attached to three carbons and none of those carbons are double bonded to oxygen. So indeed, morphine has a tertiary amine. But paracetamol, that's an amide. Nitrogen, carbon, double bonded to oxygen. So that doesn't count. Well, what about this one then? There's a nitrogen double bonded to carbon and single bonded to carbon. What's going on there? Is it a secondary because there's two carbons, a tertiary because there's no, 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 no. That's beyond the IB. That is an imine, not IB. They can't ask you that. And we're done.